doing it big right now with Reach Around Radio. That's how we're getting down, y'all. If you don't know, now you know. Yeah, yeah, what, what? Bring it out. Yeah. Now, what year is this, man? Woo! 1980. It's the 80s. He said 1980, our special guest list. He ain't introduced you yet. Hold on. (laughs) (laughs) It's Reach Around Radio's Talent Thursday. It's your boy, Speed Doggy Dog, in the house. We got things going on. I'm in Club Fluffies. It's going down. RT, what is the drink of the day, please? Vodka and gravy. (laughs) (laughs) TDP's taking jackets. Is that white gravy? I want to know, but I get my jacket. <laughs> it's Club <laughs> Fluffy's lady. Big girls get in free till 2.30. Mm. We getting it in like this. Yeah, you know what it is. Uh. <clears throat> Don't you give me all that job. Man, T, you could tell me shit. Because this ain't 18, it's song, huh? This is my song. 18, 19, when got to See your Zodiac sign. There go. Where, where did that come in? <laughs> One of those songs again. <laughs> I played this for a reason. Go ahead, uh, Miss Poetess. All right. In the house with us. And in Club Fluffies. He was the first rapper to sign to a major record label. He was the first rapper to have a gold record. Damn. And he has paved the way for hip hop, and we are honored to welcome Legendary. Curtis Blow. Legendary. Legendary. Yes. Welcome to the Thank show. You. Yes. Rap royalty, yes. Indeed. Reason I fell in love with rap. How you Aww. doing, Curtis? I'm great. I'm great. I'm uh, glad to be here. I see you guys have a, a, a top-notch uh, organization here. It, it's actually going down, folks. Wow. Right. Hey, yeah. You ain't been here long enough. It's about to fuck up in a yeah, minute. Yeah. <laughs> it's crumbling as we speak. No. 15 minutes. <laughs> so what have you been up to? Um, I When we spoke last week, you mentioned mm-hmm. you were involved with you know a lot of community stuff. And, mm-hmm. yes. and what are you doing these days? Well, well actually, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm helping out the... Uh, the south side of Chicago, the community over there in southwest side of Chicago as well. And uh, there's a lot of kids over there, a lot, a lot of babies um, getting their lives cut short. Mm-hmm. A lot of murders, a lot of violence, a lot of gangs. Uh, it's just crazy. It's like a war zone over there. Actually, uh, in the city of Chicago, the death rate has tripled New York. Mm. Wow. Wow. Insane. And so, you know, there, there, there are a lot of kids over there just, just asking, crying out for help, you know, mm. saying, you know, come come and help us and stop the mm. killings. They want to mm. grow up, right, you know? Right, wow. So I... I um, but you're originally from New York, New York City, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have a, a lot of friends in Chicago. Mm-hmm. There's a, a, a hip-hop church there. I've been going back and forth for about 10 years now. Uh, Pastor Phil Jackson over there at Lawndale Church. And uh, I, I teamed up with my boy, TK, who is a, a Chicago rapper. And he did a song called Choices. And it's an incredible message for all the kids out there to listen to and hear and give them some kind of inspiration. You know, you got choices you can make, kids. Mm-hmm. You can go right or left or choose life or death. Hmm. But the so, choice so is what yours. is it? What, like, what, what's causing the problem? What's the root of the problem, you think? Uh, I, I think uh, idle hands are the devil's playground. You know, there's, mm-hmm. there's, there's a lot of kids out there with a lot of talent, a lot of energy, a lot of oomph. And they have nothing to do. They're just bored. Mm. So, so you know. They, Would you they, say the parents uh, need to be more hands on? Uh, yeah, but that's that's like you know impossible to 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 have done when when you're uh, in the middle class uh, of the economy. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you have to work. So you work every day. You work hard. Some people have two, three jobs. Some sometimes there's there's a mom. In the in the household, and she's playing the role of daddy too. Yeah, we all know that. So you know she's working two or three jobs trying to support two or three kids, and and it's difficult. So they you, get lost by the wayside. Do you feel like the work that you're doing out there in Chicago? Do you feel like you're having an impact? Have you seen anything? Like have you have you had a good response to what you're doing? Feedback? Well, we just started. Uh, uh, me and my team, we just started about uh, I say about three months ago. Okay. But uh, I've, I've been doing stuff in and around Chicago, just like festivals and revivals, things like that, along with the church and stuff. But um, I think 
Hey, here, here's the deal. I, I I just hooked up with the pastor, and he was telling me about a great idea to do a song, like a, a We Are The World type song, mm -hmm. a self-destruction type song right, with right. all the new rappers of today. So we're hooking up with, cool. with uh, Common and Tongue Twister and yeah, the kids out yeah. there in Chicago. And we're going to try to put together this We Are The World song, you know, just letting everybody know to stop the violence, stop the killings yeah. in the Chicago. Ki the kids need jobs. I mean, I think it, it boils down to also to, you know, money and and not having enough programs in the community um, mm -hmm. that is of interest to young people. And they they just trying to survive. I mean, the same issue was going on very heavily here in L.A., like the right. 80s and 90s, the same type of thing. So, mm. and it was the same thing, just people don't have jobs. Right, right. You know, you know they, they, they have nothing to do. They sit around the house, bored. And these kids, man, they, they're coming up with these these enormous guns, man. I'm yeah. talking about, like, like AKs and... And, and, and saws and, 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 and M14s and stuff like that. And it's crazy because, you know, each one of those guns, it costs you like 7500 yeah. 8000 That's military issue. You know what yeah, I mean? I was about to say. That's car money right there. Where is a 13-year-old getting this money like this? And, and where is he getting this expensive gun from? Mm. Where, where are these Army-issued guns coming from? Wow. I remember um, several years ago they used to say that there that um, there was this train that stopped in like South Central and the, the, the train was full of weapons and mm. it just sat there in the hood for people to, to pillage it, you know? Wow. So, How does that happen? It's by design. Yeah, it's like the worst thing they could have done was cutting the funding to all the extracurricular activities. Like how are you going to cut sports and music and those kind of programs from the inner cities where it's needed the most? Yeah. It's right. like it's almost like is that what y'all wanted it to happen? Yeah. So. Right, right. So uh, yeah, we do need these programs. We need programs. We need community organizations to step up and take some of that federal money that they have and just spread it around the community. Uh, 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 you know, we need sports programs. We need we need music programs for these kids. Man, they have a lot of talent. You wouldn't believe the talent that's running around South Side of Chicago because whenever there's oppression or 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 just uh, a plight of a people that's when we really get creative mm -hmm. and so uh, uh we need more programs like that you know even farrakhan who's over in chicago he's he's calling out the president telling him we need your help we need your assistance please the president come mm -hmm. to chicago mm -hmm. and, and take a look at what's happening over here with these kids so. is he getting mm. through to him or is he uh, coming i heard I he was know. coming yeah you heard it Either way, well, I, I know the first lady had went to a funeral. There was a uh, oh, yes. a young girl yes. who performed at, at the, the inauguration. Uh -huh. and she went back home in in Chicago and got killed. Mm. And so I think the first lady went to her funeral. Okay, so how could people help your efforts, support what you're doing? Okay, um, you can go to uh, my Facebook is Curtis Blow Walker. Uh, you can get in Who's touch Walker? with me. Personally, that's <laughs> my real name. Oh, okay. Walker. <laughs> hey, Walker. <laughs> or uh, you could actually uh, get in touch with the pastor over in Chicago um, or the official TK. Uh, that's his website. That's the artist who we are spearheading right now with this cool. song called Choices. Okay. Uh, so that's the official tk.com Now you brought another person with you who's a young man. No, nah, he's he's the homie. That's Henry. <laughs> he got headphones on and mic in front of him. He's sat up. No, that's that's, a, that's a legend over there. That's yeah, Henry that's Henry G. G. What up, what up? He's, he's what been up in the game a long time. That's the homeboy. He's down with Ice T. He actually helped Ice with the Art of Rap. Uh, documentary which was great by the way oh thank you thank you fee yeah and then um curtis i wanted yes. to ask you i mean you've been rapping you know do you still perform and oh yeah okay and and <laughs> yeah. do you find that you're finding new generations of people that are getting hip to your music and what do you think of rap today well, I, I tell you, there's this one thing. I, I um I had my basketball song. Mm -hmm. It was Love on uh, uh, the video game, the NBA 2K12. Yeah. Yeah, nice. All right, yeah. it's last year. So when you, you stick the game in, right. <laughs> you stick the game in, you get and, checks and, for that, and, right? And, and yeah. that's what comes on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so 
um, you know, a lot of kids play that game. So I find myself walking around the street and see parents with their kids and they mm. bring their kids up. See, that's Curtis Blow. That's the one who made the That's two basketball. Yes, uh, now, do you get to do a check Kids know me. It's a whole new audience. Yes, I do. I, a, a little bit. It's, it's like <laughs> $5. Cool. <laughs> you know, you know vi- video video games are lethal, man. Let me tell you, the, the, the business there is really, really totally like a ripoff. They oh, give yeah. you this one-time fee mm-hmm. and then they go ahead and sell, sell it for 50 12, bucks. <laughs> 15 million yeah you know right, what I mean right. at 50 bucks a pop but there is also mechanical royalty so thank thank God so right. what was rap like that like back in the day when you started describe what the whole vibe was um it it's was all really really man. hard to explain uh the vibe that was going on but there was a vibe it was a thick thick energy like a spirit just just traveling all around those five boroughs of New York City and like it, it was incredible just just to go to like say a cool Herc party who was like known as as the godfather of hip hop mm-hmm. and going to his parties you know he 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 was the kind of guy that plays special kind of music in a world of disco disco was the number one thing going around during that time but we as the b-boys mm-hmm. and the hardcore rappers and 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 mcs and 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 b-boys and 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 hip hoppers we would flock to the Cool Herc jams because he played that special kind of music in the world of disco, mm. which was like up, up, up tempo dance music, mm-hmm. but it was real funky. And it always had a crazy break. And when the right. break came in, like this. that was the time you did your incredible move. So nice. I, I find myself, I found myself just wandering off, going and listening to this obscure funk music. And I would just go into the speaker. And, you know, Cool Herc would have these big, big, incredible bass bottoms, like, just towering over about, about you know, seven, eight feet tall. Right. And I would stick my head in the speaker and just listen to the bass. And the bass was rumbling through my whole body. I could feel it in my toes. Uh, Kurt, you was in the speaker? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm in the speaker. I'm Curtis Blow in the speaker. You, you can't do that anymore. You know, you blow your right. ears out. But but now, you know, I, I, I remember just closing my eyes and just just letting the music just take me off. You know, wow. just just take me somewhere else. And, and that's hip hop. What wow. year was that, Kurt? That was like 1974. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm going to tell you the story. 75, yeah. Kurt, a friend of mine I grew up with, we're maybe junior high school. He goes to New York for a year. Okay. He comes back, and I mean, he's your son. He's doing we like that. <laughs> he's got, and he's got two turntables in his room. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And we, I'm like, what do you got these? Why do you have two of them? He's like, in New York. They're right. getting like this, son. <laughs> right. Like, but you in L.A. Right. So we hadn't really caught up but he was like um, he spray painted his whole room <laughs> right, right. Like, your mom gonna whoop your ass about this bullshit <laughs> and he was New York everything was New York son son he was son and and then we, the two turntable things he started rapping and we like right. what the fuck are you doing right. and next thing you know we see we hear Curtis blow uh, a Christmas rap man I played that motherfucker oh I, say, motherfucker. <laughs> I played that bad boy over <laughs> and over and over. So that was thank my you, man. Thank you. You know, that was beautiful, beautiful hip hop. Yeah. You know, the early days. You, you just can't, you can't explain the vibe that what that was going around. Who was your rival? Time. Seems so At the fun. Time. Uh, Orange Juice John. <laughs> 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 no, I, I, actually, Juice is my buddy. We See? went to elementary school. There you go. Wow. But but here's my rival. I mean, this guy. We y'all stop rapping back there. We were in the same <laughs> gang together. We met uh, when I was like 16. So this is Harlem. No, actually, I went from Harlem and hung out in the Bronx. Okay. okay. Right. Scared to death. I'm 16 <laughs> up in the Bronx, and and I joined this gang called the Peacemakers. Hilarious. <laughs> You gonna like me? Yeah. Give me your money in peace. Right, right, right. These guys were not peacemakers. Right. right? So, so in the gang, uh, there's, there's a uh, you know I meet the guys from the Bronx, the, the Bronx chapter. Okay. And uh, uh, in the gang, there's this guy. His name is Melvin Glover. Mm. Okay. Doesn't sound dangerous to me. So he, <laughs> Melvin. Yeah. He, Glover. he befriended me, man. We became friends. It was like real cool cat. So about two or three years later. I hear he's in a rap group. Yes. Sir. And I'm DJing and I'm b-boying and stuff like that and I'm doing my thing. And here's this guy, his name is Melly Mel. Yep. Yeah, Melly right? Mel. There you go. Wow. So I'm like, wow, this is my boy, Melly Mel. We're in the same gang. Wow, wow, wow. So 
He put me down with the Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Wow. Early, early in the game. And then I left them and went and got my record deal. Oh, so you were actually... In Grandmaster Flash. Yeah, I was part of their group. So you Grandmaster about, Six. About, about, uh, about six furious months. Six. Six furious months. Six. Furious Six. Furious Six. Right, right. Fabulous right. Six. So, <laughs> you know, they kicked me out of the group. Wow. <laughs> wow. And then you blew yeah, yeah. up. The, the re- Sorry, Curtis. These are the breaks, man. <laughs> <laughs> rejected stone becomes the cornerstone. Wow. There, there it wow. Is. So I got my record deal about, about six months after that. Yeah, that's and, cool. Uh, me and Mel have been like arch rivals. You know, he did the message. That's yeah. like one of the the greatest song in yes. hip hop. Yes. Yes. A lot of right. people don't know that he actually was Broken the glass. only real it, rapper on that record, right? And he he was the writer. He wrote all of this stuff. You know what I mean? Mm. He wrote all of that. White lines, uh, mm. message, wow, I like that song. freedom, a lot yeah. a lot of hits on the yeah, underground it's, master it's flash. Like well, we have survive. a call. Uh oh, Carla, what's your name and where you're calling from? I'm good. Hello. This is TK. Hey, hey TK. TK. Hey, everybody. <laughs> this is actually your artist, right, Curtis? Yeah, yeah. This is the guy. We've been working together. We know with this Chicago situation, man, and 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 his new song just just delivers the message that everyone needs to hear, man. It's called Choices. Mm-hmm. TK, what's up, man? How are you? Uh, I'm great, Curtis. I'm grateful for the opportunity. Thanks for your. Uh, invitation onto this uh, on this program. I heard y'all talking about a lot of serious stuff right there. I wanted to chime in. Couldn't wait to get on the call. Please. <laughs> All right, TK, you 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 are from Chicago, right? Yes, sir. So you can. I mean, us- I live. I was born in I was born in Cleveland, but raised in Chicago, primarily in between uh, Chicago and Cleveland when I was younger. But most of my life was in Chicago, yes, sir. So you experienced a lot of that violence and stuff that's happening over there. Why don't you give us, like, a, a first-hand kind of, like, you know, example of well, what's happening. Well, first of all, everybody, you know, who's been in Chicago knows Chicago's a beautiful city, you know, but the nickname of Chicago was Chirac. Mm. And yeah. some of the same statistics that you was telling everybody, mm. um, you know, Chicago's called the second city to New York. But the killings are three to one over New York and Chicago. Wow. There's more killings in Chicago last year, like you were saying, than in Afghanistan. Wow. So, um, on the left or right of me, I had, you know, kids who should be here today are not here. You know, right when I was filming a video for Choices, three of the people who were supposed to be on the video, rest in peace, um, Terry, Juju, and Michael, they're not here. And it really is it's like you're talking to ghosts for the most part. And this is just last year, and you guys were talking about Hadia uh, Pendleton, 15-year-old girl, had her way paved at the inauguration, dancing for the president, Mm -hmm. and she's not here because of the senseless murders. And, Mm. you know, my background is when is it going to come to a point where we realize we won with each other, you know? That is, you know, that these murders, you know, as an artist, you know, I I could rap about, you know, how easy it is to get it in and stretch somebody out and, you know, but nobody is saying anything about, you know, the experience from the angle that I believe Choices brought. And as an artist, I just wanted to make sure that I brought something that says something to the commentary of the tragedy. Okay, so where could people find the Choices song? Can they download it? Can they find it on YouTube? Where's it at? Um, you can go to www.theofficialtk.com, um, track number four, Choices, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, you can go and look on World Star Hip Hop, February 14th, I believe, is when it came out to view the video. Okay. So we'll definitely try to pull that up at some point during the show, TK. For sure. So yes, thank sir. you for all the effort you're doing in the community. And um, anything else you want to add, Curtis? Yeah, TK, we we got to do this song, this uh, 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 We Are The World song. We got to hook that up. Yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely a time. And, you know, I just want to say, first of all, for Curtis, even getting involved, you know, from like we were saying, from, you know, coming from Harlem, even when he was much younger, he used to be actively involved in some, you know, politics in Chicago, what we call politics, you know. And so <laughs> there's a history there. And um, I just, it's an honor and a privilege to have your, you know, your royal stamp on this, being a pioneer in hip hop, and hearing the message that this one particular song addresses so strongly. So 
I appreciate you definitely getting involved with um, with the project, Curtis. And I want to just thank um, Poetis for um, having me on the program to expose as an artist this particular uh, crisis is going on in Chicago. I heard y'all talking about L.A. and I lived in L.A. and I lived. I've been out in New York. Um, but, you know, it's got to be a lot of attention brought to a place where they said it's the worst sector in the United States and they're d- designed to deploy the National Guard out there. So okay. I just want to say thanks to everybody. You're to everybody. welcome, TK. You're welcome. And we'll look out for your stuff. And thanks for calling in. Appreciate it, man. Thank, Thank you, TK. That's TK. what's up. That's Shout what's up. Time. All right. Peace and blessings. So, Curtis, right. anything else you want to add? No, that, that that's uh, basically it. Oh, I do have a, a, a new digital distribution network called Genesis Entertainment. Mm-hmm. And what we can do uh, for anybody out there is we could take a song or a CD or mm-hmm. a whole label full of music and just place the music online on all the websites like iTunes, Amazon.com, Rhapsody, CD Baby, on and on and, and on. And what's it called again? And it's called Genesis Entertainment. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's an actual system where we could upload the stuff ourselves. So you as a label, you can have the hands-on control of your product that you that you release so wow you can have the control just get at me get at your boy um my twitter is curtis blow and the number one no walker curtis blow nah nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> straight up curtis blow and the number one or curtis blow walker at, on facebook we are so honored to have man. you yeah. yes. thank you man so thank you so my much pleasure, for coming by and thank hanging out with me. us no Kurt worries blow. all, all right. right it's reach around radio we're gonna take a quick <laughs> break and we'll be right back that was my curtis in the mix <laughs> with dj always <laughs> It's your boy Speedy. They are here. The new Reach Around Radio t-shirts are in the house. For a small donation of $25 or more, you will get your t-shirt sent out right away. We got sizes XL to 3X for the men. Ladies, we got those baby tees, medium to large. And for my big girls, just buy the 3X and cut it. Yeah. Go to TeamRAR.com. That's TeamRAR.com to get your t-shirts right now. Buy a t-shirt, bitch. This red man, what's good? Um, Reach Around Radio. That's what I'm listening to. That's what you should be tuned into. All my marijuana smokers, you know how we get down. Red man in the building. Reach Around Radio. Let's get it.